And five, Action. four, three, two, one. Action. Hey everybody, it is Jessica and Morocco. Today we're gonna to be discussing discussing a whole bunch of different stuff. But there's something very important we'd like to skip to first. It's the autumn season, fall, but there's something even better than that. And I think you can see already what that is. Nova. My wife here had baby Nova. Yes. Would you like to know a little bit about baby Nova and the whole experience? I think you would because it's very interesting. Very. So interesting. We'll, we'll we'll start this off from the very beginning, from when my wife was having a little bit of. Uh. Well, basically, my water broke really early, um, and I was about thirty weeks pregnant, and three different emergency labor and delivery visits did not um, get me admitted, but I think. The fourth, did. yeah, I think the, the fourth. The fourth did, and um, so finally I got admitted. And I was almost thirty-one weeks, and I had to stay there until I delivered. So I was in the hospital for a good almost a month. Oh, it was very fun. On bed rest. On bed rest during COVID nineteen, where you can't have visitors. Mm. So it's kind of like a, a form of gel. But it was like a, a vacation kind of gym. With Netflix. Positive kind of With gym. Netflix and a computer. She did a great job there. I had so to really go visit her. I had to visit her every single day. Sometimes twice a day. Sometimes twice a day. And Driving, had, what, 100 miles there and back? 100 miles yeah. there and back. A had little great, dry. great nurses. Yeah. Uh, all Kaiser hospitals are fantastic. I'm a fan of Kaiser hospitals now. Yeah. Especially, especially when you're next to the, the department manager, you really get yeah. Some treats. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> so it was, a, it was a great experience. So tell us a little bit about what you were doing in there during that time, because I know it was um, a very. It's, it's, I can see on her face when I was there. It was kind of stressful, but it was uh, kind of like relaxing at the same time. Yeah. It was therapeutic. She had a little bit of time to find herself, yeah. other than raising babies all day and take care of the kids all day. So she finally had a break after seventeen years. Yeah. Of it was the too. most quiet I've had in a very long time. It was scarily quiet though sometimes, like. I think Instagram and stuff like that, watching YouTube videos of humans speaking was nice because you're actually in there yeah. in complete silence. And I can only watch so much TV, so it's like nice to have some social media and um, just sometimes I made a lot of friends with their nurses, so sometimes they'd come in there even if they're off shift to just pop in just since I am in there basically locked into the room. And I would get like, what, 20 minutes a day out? 20 minutes I got a day to go out. peek at the sun every day for 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and then they upped it a little bit, yeah. so twice a day. Yeah, he's good twice. But it was very, it was very, it's very, it was very regulated. Yeah. But it was great to see her huh. relaxing yeah. finally, and having finally, having finally having some time to relax. That was the main thing. Yeah. I come to realize that mothers don't get too much time to relax. So I seen a new side of her. Um, I think she was very creative. I learned that she's very creative. Yeah. Um, and uh, she's hey. really up tempo, actually, which I didn't know. I didn't know you're so up tempo. <laughs> yeah. So she's very creative and planning and everything else, and she stays busy and she stays occupied and she has her morals and values in line completely. So with that in mind, the hospital stay proved that. <laughs> the hospital stay completely proved it. I mean, she has a, as an inmate. <laughs> you know, she was far from an inmate. She enjoyed her stay, and I think hey, you baby. had a great time, right? Yeah. Well, the main concern was to keep the baby in, let him grow a little bigger, and let him get his um, lungs a little more developed. So every day was actually like a huge accomplishment, and I was really happy for each day that we would get closer and closer to like the 34-week mark, because that was our goal, was to make it to the 34 weeks. Um, so every day was kind of like a little, it was kind of like a mini party at the end, or at the beginning of each day when we get to mark a new day or week yeah. change it on the So it would be like 32 weeks. 32 and weeks and four days. Woo yeah. yeah, so it was a celebration every every day. Yeah. Uh, because I guess your uh, it tore, what was it? Yeah, the water had already broken. The water had so, broken. But we were keeping water in there somehow, miraculously. And, yes. But we got to 33 and three weeks, and then he decided it was time to be born. Yes. And there was no stopping that. We had to. We yeah. had to go, well, we actually had to end up having a C-section just because of how everything went down. But and she did a great job. Either way, he came out crying, 
and he came out breathing completely on his own, and he did a really good job. He did. He, the, he shocked all the doctors and nurses, and he was loud and screaming, and they said, we might hear a cat's meow sound when he came out, but he came out loud and proud, and yes, just he just yelling. He did came out ready. Yeah, he did. And then he had a couple weeks he had to stay in the hospital, obviously, just to get like his eating and everything, um, like as a preemie, his eating but he wasn't mature enough. He wasn't mature enough to actually like take a bottle of breast really, so he had to just get the tube so it wouldn't take any of his energy. And um, after that, I thought he was really good. And yeah, he, he went was. home at 35 weeks exactly. He was a 35 weeker heading home, breastfeeding yes. and everything. Yes. So it was a, a huge experience. Yeah. So um, while my wife is in the hospital, uh, <laughs> I had to watch the kids. Had to cook for the kids. Had to get the kids back. Give the kids baths. Entertaining the kids. Entertaining the kids. A whole bunch of stuff that I never did before. Yeah. Clean up the nineteen thousand messes they make per day. Yeah. So it was it. I spent my birthday watching yeah. kids. And Father's Day. And Father's Day. It was an uh, experience that I've never had before. I did not know <laughs> that it takes this much work to raise children. Yeah. It is. So my hat goes off. To all the mamas. To all the mamas out there. <laughs> You are amazing. You are amazing. Like, yeah. And uh, newfound respect for parenting. Yeah. Newfound respect for parenting. Definitely. That, that was a little crazy. The FaceTime videos, seeing the kids at home with you, it's a little crazy. Sometimes you see kids zooming by. Yeah. They were taking advantage <laughs> of me because I didn't know the ropes. Yeah. So the kids would definitely. Dad, Dad thought he had a secret stash of candy and free snacks and things in the closet. Yeah. And the kids would call me on FaceTime like... <laughs> I'm, we're, we just have some fruit snacks. <laughs> oh, it wasn't so hidden. Yeah, it wasn't so hidden. I thought I hid them, but they knew exactly where they were. Yeah, they did. And so, yeah, um, I couldn't use it as a tool of manipulation no. because they knew where all my hiding spots were. They just helped so, themselves. Yeah, they just helped themselves yeah. the whole entire time. Yeah. Um, and so, anyway, on to another topic Halloween. Ooh. My favorite, well, yeah, my favorite that holiday. Your favorite holiday. You're wondering why. I think I'll just tell you. I love candy. It's candy. That's why I love Halloween. No, truly. He truly loves candy. I love candy. No, he truly has like yeah. an addiction problem. Yeah. Over the years, we've slowly cut it back to now he gets candy like, yeah. what do you get? Like, uh, twice I mean, a week max, he gets candy. Yeah. It used to be every day. Every day he had to have some selection, like two yeah. to three bags. It makes me happy. Or his mood would be all messed up, and we'd have to search for his favorite candies, or we had to go on yeah. candy runs to the store late at night. We'd be like, he, like, so, Dad doesn't have his favorite candy. We're trying to figure out what we're gonna, how we're gonna decorate. <laughs> I know I'm, I'm gonna try to make this whole place completely scary, and scare all the little kids who have to pass by. I thought we were gonna do a chic, a, a chic classic look. <laughs> we're gonna make it really scary. Um, I, I hope. I don't know exactly how we're going to do it. What are you guys going to do? I would love to hear what you guys are going to do for Halloween. Are you going to decorate? What are you going to do? Explain it. How? And with the coronavirus. And yeah, how are you going to do that? No one might see it, or they might only see it in pictures, but I thought will you be, still participate? <laughs> yeah. Or maybe are you guys going to just leave candy out on the porch and let the kids yeah. walk up and grab the candy? However, you can you know put some little... Scary stuff outside your door, similar to Home Alone. If you ever watched that, how you kind of like put everything together. The pizza guy. The pizza guy, yeah, it's good. Oh, uh, like putting the money outside. Yeah, and then he made, his, yeah, he just did a whole bunch of props and stuff. So, oh, yeah. we'd love to hear what you guys are going to do. And on to another topic, <laughs> candles, which you guys show so much support. Yes. I, oh my gosh. You guys are. You guys are. Great. That was another thing he had to. Uh, do while I was in the hospital. I couldn't fulfill orders, obviously, or pour candles or do anything other than work on the computer. Yeah. So, when all the orders were coming through, he... When Chris Jenner posted about... Yeah, when Chris Jenner posted a candles. story, and then a gazillion things happened that day, yeah. um, he had to be there to fulfill those orders. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure... There, okay, make it. There were... Make it. <laughs> your hat's not Thank I'm pretty you. sure there was a lot of nights he didn't get a lot of sleep because yeah. that a lot of that had to be him. But I was taught that very well. I'm not gonna take all the credit. You taught me very well. Yeah. You I, taught me I did. So, so she prepared me for I, she actually prepared me for that I, entire <laughs> uh 
time when she's in the hospital ahead of time. She said just in case it may happen. We did have a little conversation. So it was kind of funny. on the way to San Francisco, she just told me all this different stuff to be prepared for. Yep. Be prepared to have to make these candles. Be prepared to have to label them. Be prepared to have to ship them out. Pay for shipping and everything else that comes along with it. Get everything. So I wasn't the genius in it. I just uh, followed the orders. So yeah. But uh, thank you because I know you're saying good job. So, uh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Yeah. See, even though it says good job. Yeah. So yeah, candles. So we have we have a new candle. My wife does. Yes. It I don't is, have any around. It is but nutmeg. Nutmeg and butter. <sighs> nutmeg and butter. I mean, butter. it's like butter, baby. Nutmeg and butter. It is amazing. And it is one of my favorite candles to actually burn. Yeah. Period. Like any, I don't care what time of year it is. I love burning a good nutmeg and butter candle. And it I, is I saved some from last year that I've been burning throughout the year, and so I was so happy to finally bring it back and. Bring it back to the customers because that is a good one. Yeah, and that, and then you guys order a lot of the uh, cinnamon, cinnamon, honey, and pear. Honey and pear. Yeah. Uh, I assume you guys like the story behind that because I actually love it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what you guys should do is listen very closely. Keep ordering. <laughs> that makes us happy. You see the smile? You get that every time you order. Oh so yeah. There's no you get that. So when, yeah. when, it, when when the bell goes off and it goes ding ding ding, order I go. So if you want to see me go, and then get to work. Yeah, keep ordering. <laughs> Just keep ordering, and we love your support. We love your awesome messages. Yeah, it's just amazing. It makes us feel so good, and yeah. Yep, and we have a lot we're getting ready for. It. Like Christmas is right around the corner, basically. Yes. So it's like Halloween's here. We're getting all our fall candles going. Fall candles are crazy, just in itself. Yes. And yes. then in the middle of that, we're getting prepared for Christmas. So. And then we're getting our you, you want winter mama? fur candles and what else do we have during Christmas? Mold cider and chestnut. Oh, and so yeah. we have a ton of stopping yeah, to do and a ton of pouring to you do. Want mama? And you want mama? Yeah. So it's a busy time of the year. You want mama? And we have the little guy. Yeah. Who's gonna be here with us? Mm. Yes. Right? You gotta be here to help us. You have to help us a little bit. In the middle of in the middle of breastfeeding the things, he has to kind of help us out, you know. Yeah. Sometimes I have to wear them in the wrap and label candles. And she she wears a solly baby wrap. Solly wrap. And we, kind of back, we pass them back and forth. Yeah. Huh. I know. I yeah. know. I know. So for now, we're going to have to go. Baby comes first. We just wanted to hop on here and say hello and show our appreciation. And um, if you have any questions, comments, or anything, you already know how to get in contact oh, yeah. with us. We're here. Yeah. And so, so we hadn't done it. Uh, episode of Jessica Morocco since yeah, but, oh my God, like it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. Actually, we ain't gotta go to baby calm down. See, yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> We're gonna keep talking. <laughs> so it's two in the morning now. <laughs> yeah, so it's two thirty in the morning, and we're still talking. That's hilarious. It's really not. No, it's not. Though. It's not. No, definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we just got an order. Ding ding. Hold on a second. <laughs> yep, pretty much. It's pretty natural. It is. That is how it usually works. Is it, that's how it works. Um, that's exactly. But exactly yeah, so it's been a while since we did an episode, so we'll have to hop on here and give you guys some. We're gonna keep you on here. Try to find some energy to yeah spread ourselves just a teeny bit thinner. Yeah, you know, raising babies is uh, six kids. Oh yeah, there's six, six now. There's six. six. Do you know the ages? Yeah. I wonder if you guys know the ages. Do you think they know the ages? Probably won't guess the ages. You probably won't guess the ages. Go ahead, I'll wait for you to guess the ages. <laughs> Six children. Okay, let's get okay. to So, your oldest, our oldest. 17. Next. 16. Next. 8. 6. 4. And no. And more. two months. Yeah, so we're pretty <laughs> much busy. Yeah, a little bit. Very, very busy. A little bit. We are, we're, we're completely sane somehow. Yeah. I don't know how we're completely sane, but we are. Yeah. I lots think of, lots of, so the way we get through our day is literally, let's see, our main things. Water, coffee. Another order. Wa put that away. Put that away. Another order. All right, I'm going to put it down. Okay. Real quick. That's how we survived today. Water, coffee, vitamins. Yes. Vitamin C. And, and uh, 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 uh trail mix, beef jerky. What's the? We don't have time for a meal. What's the drink? Kobe Bryant's We drink. call it Kobe Drink. We call okay. it Kobe Drink, but it's... It's actually body armor. Body armor. He is one of the founders. So we uh, drink our body armor. Yeah, every day, body armor. 
body armor helped me in the hospital to keep my food levels for him to stay in my tummy, like, up. And, and it has helped me with like breast milk yeah. and upped my production of breast milk. Believe yeah. it or not, body armor sports drinks, they are so good. Yeah, we so, love it. Thank you, Kobe. Thank you. Mm. Okay, so officially, I think we're headed to dinner. Yeah, he needs to get some liquid gold. His dinner. So, we're going to end this. It was nice chatting. We will stay in touch with you guys. Let us know what you think. And yeah.